Hi gang, this is John Kay. How are you doing today? It's uh, around about 11.30 Saturday morning on uh, the 30th of April in Melbourne, Australia. What I'm going to show you today is the progress that Jeff and I have been making on, on the Tesla switch. And in particular, the, uh, what I'm going to show you today is the solar mode part of the switch. Now what we've got set up here is four batteries. Uh, this meter here is connected over battery one which we're going to call battery one in, in for the purpose of this demonstration. Now, at the moment we've got the solar panel coming in from the roof and what I'm going to show you is the amps and the, the charging that the solar panel is going to put into this battery one. I'll give you a quick look at the solar panel. So what we can see here is the solar panel. It's a 200 watt 24 volt panel. It's in full sun at the moment so we should get some good charging off the panel. So let's see what the solar panel does straight into the battery with no charge controller just straight across the battery. So our voltage on battery 1 is sitting at 1263 0 amps. I'm going to connect up the solar across the battery here which is this red lead. And you can see the battery immediately starts charging with raw DC current. About 4.2 amps coming off the panel into that battery. So this is charging the battery well. However, with raw DC current over time, we're just going to uh, kill this battery rather than the, the preferred method of, of pulse charging it. So you can see the voltage gradually climbing up there and the, and the current going into the battery. And I'll explain in a minute why we've got four batteries hooked up to this. Okay, so we're at about 13 volts. That's going well. So now what we're going to do is disconnect the solar panel. And I'm going to connect the solar panel up to the Tesla switch and show you the difference that it makes. So I'm going to disconnect the meter. Get rid of the meter now because we don't need that. I'm going to disconnect the solar panel from the battery terminals and I'm going to connect it to the input of the Tesla switch. So I'll just put the camera down for a second while I do this because I need two hands. But uh, you can watch me doing this as well and I'll talk you through it. So we're going to connect up the solar panel to the input of the Tesla switch. There's one wire going in there and the second wire is just about to go in there. I'll tighten him up. Okay. So we can pick up the camera now. And what we're going to do is connect up battery one from the Tesla switch back up to the battery. Okay, that's one wire. The other wire, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. We can get a connection there. So you can see our battery's already dropped back to 1274. I haven't turned on the Tesla switch yet. We'll keep an eye on that. Now we've got an amp gauge on the Tesla switch to show you the, the current that's going to be put into the battery. Have a fan on there to keep things cool. An on off switch, a reset switch, and another switch, which will show you what that does later on. So we'll switch on the on the Tesla switch. Okay, and it it will initialize. It's going to go out and read the voltage coming off the panel. And it's going to say, okay, I've got enough energy coming in off the solar panel to start charging battery one. So we can see on the LEDs here that battery one has been selected and we can see the amps being pulsed now pulsed into this battery rather than just raw DC current going in there so I'm getting about three and a half amp pulses okay if we go and have a look at the battery you can see that the battery already is up to a is swinging between you know, 1282 and 13 volts and the battery is really taking this charge in in a pulse mode rather than a, a straight DC current mode now the advantages of this obviously are that um, 
while we're doing this, it's also going to rejuvenate these batteries and, and any sulfation that's built up in the batteries is going to get cleaned up and the batteries are going to get healthier. Now the reason why we've got four batteries here is we've configured the Tesla switch to be able to charge four batteries in sequence. So right now we're doing battery one, solar charging, but what it also does is it allows the batteries in sequence so after a period of time battery one will have a rest and then we'll start charging batteries two, three and four in sequence. And throughout this time the microcontroller that's controlling the Tesla switch here is going to go out and determine how much energy is coming into the system and what to do with that energy all automatically so the user doesn't have to touch it it's all automated so that's what it's what it does again we can see the the battery voltage is climbing up really fast so we're really putting some energy into these batteries and these are a Trojan uh, 130 amp hour deep cycle batteries so they're, they're pretty big batteries you can see there well thanks for watching and um, we'll show you more of this uh, at the Renaissance Free Energy Conference at the end of July.